Greetings from I Love New York, and it is the welcoming in of the Christmas season in ever beautiful I Love New York as couples take their photographs in the fountain in front of the Plaza Hotel. And the lights are lit up. One of the things New York City is really known for is the Christmas windows. It's nice to start at the Plaza Hotel as there is so much uh, beautiful light to be seen right here at the fountain. Grand Army Plaza is where the uh, world's largest Hanukkah menorah has been lit right here in New York City. But we are right across the street from Bergdorf Goodman. And New York City is quintessential for coming to see New York for Christmas. And seeing the Christmas windows, fashion designers from around the world sort of look to see what's in the windows. Often you can't even buy what is in the windows, but it lures you into the store. And that happens with the day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday. But the view is here to be seen. Let's take a look inside. Bergdorf Goodman doesn't actually look quite that interesting if you look at one of their entrances. And that's why it's all about the windows. So let's take a look inside as uh, I walked past earlier in the week and they were doing the window displays. Red and silver is the color for this. Now I am seeing a lot of product. I think that all of this is probably available in the store, which is not always the case for the window displays. Did see the Macy's window displays earlier today and absolutely nothing was available for purchase. It was all uh, figurines and mirror nets. This is actually uh, very relaxing to look at. It reminds us that Thanksgiving and the early part of the Christmas shopping season is till autumn. I think it's December 21st is the first day of winter. And so we're seeing a lot of the autumn colors and they probably will change that before the new year season because a lot of things switch over to gold. Now, I like this because it's practical of what Bergdorf Goodman is, as I think all of these are products that you could probably buy in the store. I don't have a problem with the fantasy element when they put all of the uh, figurines that move around and dance, and hopefully we will see some of those as we turn the block, as now we are on Fifth Avenue. A rare look. Let's go into the... Let's do it. How often can you step into the middle of Fifth Avenue and have the whole block to yourself? Or right, But back to the windows. What is going on at Bergdorf Goodman? And yes, people do travel to see what is happening in New York for Christmas. And they always want to see the window displays. And that is a way to get you into the store. Gotta say, the store doesn't look quite as interesting as the windows. But I do like the mannequins underneath the tree. Since they're right next to Central Park, bringing a little bit of those earth elements indoors, I think that is wise. Oh, Joy! You gotta step back for this one. And that is actually, it's really important if you uh, are able to see this one. Joy, many people view as the purpose of our existence. The reason we are here on planet Earth is to experience and share joy. It's the ultimate goal. And one of the premier elements of wellness actually is joy. And so I am happy to see that one. And I needed to step back to see it. So when I'm close to joy, I don't know it's in front of me. So I've got some work to do. But when I step back, I can clearly see uh, a lot of wellness in this window. So thank you for whoever did that one. What's going on next door? I cannot tell you other than uh, they are solving color sensory deprivation that happens in winter with this window. And I thank them for that. If there is another interpretation of what's going on here, I missed it. Um, but I'm happy to see all of the colors. I'm kind of happy standing in front of this window. Thank you for that one. Respect. Respect in red. 
you know, it's hard to not read the word respect and not hear Aretha Franklin's voice. So I'm going to thank Aretha Franklin for reminding me to respect myself and respect the people around me because I am hearing your voice when I see this. Uh, Bergdorf Goodman, I'm not sure if you were trying to channel Aretha Franklin. If you were, excellent choice. If not, I'm not sure I see other than Aretha Franklin. Again, thank you, Aretha. Let's go on over here. Ice. The color blue reminds me of winter. So I'm liking the, uh, the colors, but um, I'm not going to go in and buy this. <laughs> if this is in the home decor section, I'm not going to go buy one to put it in my living room. But that's what I said earlier. When you turn the corner, you're going to see things in the window that you cannot purchase in the store. And that lures you into the store because you've come here to see the windows. And that's kind of how these whole window scenarios have started. I like this one because it is, well, this one's, oh, hold on. Thanksgiving is here. And there is Charlie Brown and Snoopy. The Thanksgiving Day holiday is what opens up the window display. Now, why I love the love display, not because it simply says love, because it's so easy if you decorate in red for Yule and for Christmas and for Saturnalia, you can leave your lights up until February 14th. It makes life easy to decorate early in red. And I see that they have done that. I like when life is easy. I love love, uh, but I also like when life is easy. And that's what I saw first when I saw this window. So I love it. And thank you, Bergdorf Goodman, for reminding us life can be easy and we can focus on love. Good choice. Oh, Chanel is absolutely void of product, but reminds us that ice can be uh, pretty. I think they're doing with a diamond reference there. And that looks like the end of the window displays. Oh, we've got one more. It kind of reminds me of the windows we saw that were facing Central Park. Very dramatic in nature. Looks like a 60s dress. Probably someone who bought it would be made fun of if they wore this to a party in this year. But it looks good in the window. I will give them that. They've worked with the uh, red and green colors. Now, back to the Yule traditions. Red and green have a lot of traditions. Green being that of the earth. And red being that of the birth, new life. And also the slaughtering season. It was... Uh, the life elements of animals that was placed on trees that glistened in the evening that was part of the original Saturnalia and Yule traditions long time ago, but that's where those colors come from. Back from the woods, the woods actually, we decorated trees that were growing in the woods. Okay, I told you about this earlier. It's not as interesting once you go in the store. So I'm really grateful for the windows. And designers uh, um, from around the world do kind of look to Macy's, Bergdorf Goodman to see what is happening on Fifth Avenue. And half of those products are not even available in the store, but it lures you to talking about Bergdorf Goodman, which I would not do on a normal day. So Thank you for spicing it up. Appreciate it and welcome to, it's Thanksgiving, it's here. Welcome to the Christmas, Yule, Saturnalia, Hanukkah, Thanksgiving, Kwanzaa, New Year's Eve. It's not the best time of year in this region so we've created a lot of holidays and I love all of them. Till next time, from ever beautiful Fifth Avenue in I Love New York.